Hey guys, good morning. Today is Sunday. Um, we are finishing up our errands today. I made a coffee, so I think, I don't know if I talked about this. Yes, in yesterday's vlog, no, in the grocery haul that I posted um, from Costco, I got oat milk because one of my favorite drinks from Starbucks is the brown sugar shaken espresso. And there are tons, Maddie went to go grab something from inside. Um, there are tons of recipes that you can find. I don't know what she said. Do you need these headphones? She's just never know what No, it's not her headphones. She said it's a heart or something she made for my mom. I don't know. But she was like, can I run in? I said, okay, go. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but anyway, so there are tons of recipes that you can find on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, like everywhere. I haven't followed those specific recipes, but I have the Tarani brown sugar cinnamon. And I essentially let my espresso go cold over that and I mixed it with yeah say hi <laughs> um, I mixed it with oat milk and then I did my cold foam instead of whip actually using whipping cream or yeah heavy whipping cream with you know how Starbucks does it I used it with my oat milk and a touch of the Italian creamer so and then I put some cinnamon on top which is exactly how I get it from there so we'll see how I like it. Much cheaper because my drinks are seven, like seven fifty, for a grande, which is insane. The actual, it's not that expensive. The brown sugar shaking espresso, but adding the cold foam and everything to it, it makes it seven fifty for a grande in a venti cup. So if I can save myself the money and make it at home, which I like all coffee made from home, so it's that's not really a big deal. Also this morning I did have to glue on, hopefully they're sticking, my left part of my left eyelash and then the one little at the end on my right one because I guess for my eyes watering or something last night because I was coughing up a storm, my congestion went away, which is great, but I was coughing a dry cough all night. It was fresh outside. It made uh, my eyelash just fall off. Normally they last me about three days. So anyway, we're about okay, to take you. the girls to my mom's again. She was originally just gonna watch them for us today. She ended up watching them for a few hours yesterday also, but they're gonna go chill out over there and then we're gonna run a few errands. Kids mail quesadilla. Okay, we're at H-E-B and the dress is putting water outside at the for the five gallon containers. I'm getting hair dye. So I normally get this one, the L'Oreal uh, Red Velvet. I love that color, but I normally do the L'Oreal Chocolate Brown with it and they don't have it. So I'm doing the Deep Burgundy Brown. It's called Chocolate Cherry. It's supposed to have like kind of a red undertone to it. So we'll see. I'm gonna try that color this time. Some hair, oh, I didn't want these. I need to go back. I didn't want the little things, but I needed some bobby pins, and then there's some coupons for $4 off when you spend 12 So I ended up getting some shampoo to go with this because it made more sense. The two of these is $22 together. For two more dollars, I can get an additional $4 off. So this ends up being about two bucks, which is pretty good. So I'm supposed to be getting food, and I got stuck in the hair care aisle, so here we go. Okay, let's check out eggs here. $22.50. So, of course, during when the, the pandemic first hit, I could get this for like $7. Prior to that, it was like $9.50, $10.75 and that. So it's more than double for the exact same amount of eggs that I used to get. $22 freaking 50 Lord! $4.48 for a dozen. Now, this is cheaper than Costco, obviously. And, you know, now that I'm doing the math, I'm wondering if it would be cheaper just to get it by the dozen. Just a few pennies cheaper. What's the 36? The 36 is 13.44. Let me do some math. Okay, yeah, it's 10 cents cheaper to buy the individual dozens or the three dozen versus that. So, I mean, it's 22.40 if you buy them like that or five of the single dozen, which is great. I mean, it's 10 cents. It's like not that big of a deal, but I think I'm just gonna go with the three dozen because that's so much money. That's so crazy to me. Hopefully these are all intact. Okay, we're home. Came back from HB. It was about 200 bucks. I did buy my hair stuff. I just filmed. Now I'm going to put everything away uh, and then we're going to head out. On the dress got water, so that's good. So now we have six five gallon things of water plus whatever we have in here. So much cheaper. 
of an option. Was it still 25 cents a gallon? I think so. Or like two bucks for the yeah, five gallon? Three. Yeah, so it's, it's a much cheaper option for us to have water. Of course, drinking from the fridge or from the faucet is the cheapest option, but we're bougie and we don't do that. So sometimes the girls will, and we tell them like there's water over there, but they don't really care. To me, if the water tastes gross, if the ice tastes gross, I can't, it makes me gag. I can't drink it. This water that we get from H-E-B <laughs> tastes good room temperature and cold. So it's maybe, it's just me, I don't know. But I'm a huge water drinker and it's worth it for us to have the water like that. So we got six, five gallons. So we have 30 gallons out in the fridge, which is good. And this is the stuff that we got from H-E-B. So I'm about to put it all away and then we're gonna head out for more errands. Okay, so we are in the thing that we all the alarm <laughs> we are in it the financial decision that we made it's a rental home so exciting so um we had the opportunity to purchase a rental home if you're not for rentals if like you hate rentals it doesn't matter too late we already bought it um it's ours we closed earlier this week we got the keys Woo and yeah so we are here to do a walkthrough write down the stuff that we need and go purchase it because our plan is to have this rented out in the next two months so here we are it's a cute little three bed two bath um has a full of course kitchen but it definitely needs a little bit of touch-ups here and there like the cabinets are dark it has solid no laminate um tops it, it just needs like a good scrub it looks like it was recently painted some of the light fixtures and things need to be redone and just various things like that so it did not it was this in the what is that oh uh, uh, yeah it's an oven pan um it came with all the appliances a fridge stove dishwasher and a microwave so that's kind of cool it's actually a cute little house so yeah we're super excited but this is what we have been budgeting and pouring our money into the last few months well the last like six weeks mostly because it was quite a financial leap whenever you have a rental home if you don't know you have to put 20 percent down on it so it was a a huge investment for us but I'm hoping long term this is our retirement plan is to have real estate and I'm hoping long term this will be something that will work well for us the housing market recently has kind of taken a little downslide because of interest rates and things like that so we decided to jump in when we could get a really good deal on the house it has a huge backyard it's one story like I said super cute little house it just needs a little bit of TLC not a ton but a little bit it's shaped very similarly to ours well that's my phone what is that uh, it just needs a good scrub and then like I said some fixtures and things we need to fix up so so exciting here we are this is kind of what we've been stressing out about over the last few months and yeah we're finally here so let's make a list Home Depot is my least favorite store ever, ever. But we got all the things. So we had to put blinds. Well, let me rewind. You don't have to have blinds in a rental technically, but it's the right thing to do. So we're putting blinds. We had to replace like some door stoppers, the sinks all throughout the house, um, or not the sinks, the faucets. Little things, honestly, the house is in really, really good shape. Really good shape, like we lucked out on it. Didn't require the inspection. Went over very well, nothing crazy or major with the house. Little things that we needed to upgrade. So, um, that's what we got. That's what that stuff is back there, blinds. We need to go get a garbage disposal. The laundry room doors need to be put back on. Little things like that. Nothing Andres cannot handle himself. So, super exciting. I am exhausted. I feel like we did nothing but run errands yesterday, nothing but run errands today. Just really tired. And we in, went in as a family 
on barbecue today. Um, Nin and my brother were, well, I think Nin ended up doing most of it, but ended up uh, barbecuing. So we just pitched in money and that's what we're having for dinner. So that's gonna be super exciting with beans, potato salad, all the works. I think there's sausage and ribs and maybe chicken. I don't know. So we're gonna go pick that up and go pick up the girls and then head home and start a week tomorrow. I know. Okay. Okay, Nin's been cooking, slaving away all day. All day. Ribs, some more ribs. I know, Chibi, you were supposed to be cooking with her. I did the ribs, sort of. <laughs> I went in there and said, there's no barbecue sauce on here. <laughs> barbecue uh, sauce hot dog, too. sausage, chicken. Yum. And then we have some potato salad. <laughs> Nin art and then uh, beans. Potato salads without. Who, Nin, whose beans are these? Uh, or, oh, see, that's why she's Walmart. my favorite meats. No, no. I, oh, no, she's definitely, <laughs> she's definitely oh, my favorite meats. Those are ours. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Trixie. I'm good for you. Trixie! That part I, I, It's all over. Like there's Teddy honey. Oh, oh, hi, Tiger. Teddy. Teddy. Um, Teddy Bear. Teddy. I mean, it's okay. I tolerate it. Teddy. Come here, Teddy. There you go. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know what Tessa is. I haven't seen Tessa. Tiger came to greet us as soon as we got here. Oh, yeah? Yeah. We cleaned up the patio and we're all happy. Oh. Gosh, she's so big. Yeah, so yeah she's the biggest she's one. Huge. You're huge. She's the biggest I know. I she's, she's way. Ah, uh, yeah. She's way bigger than Lola. Give Lola a hug. She won't scratch you. Not if you pet her nicely, okay? <coughs> pet her nicely. Be gentle. I'm actually editing a cash stuffing video to go up. I was crying. <laughs> um, I saw this thing on Facebook that talked about grandparents and I always give my mom a hard time because, I mean, don't get me wrong, she was like the best mom, right? Like I never, she was awesome, super fun, super outgoing, always like the bubbly, loving, kind, vivacious person she is now. So, I mean, I, I never, I always felt loved and adored by her, I mean, truly. But she, her love for her grandkids is like on another level, it's insane. It's insane, like she loves them, I swear, more than she loves us. And she will she probably will say that too. Actually, funny enough, Nin told us today that her favorite, that my, of course, like growing up, my, Nin didn't have, she's my aunt, right? My mom's only sister and she didn't have any children growing up. We had no cousins on this side of the family and so um, we didn't get to experience that, right? My mom always would give Nin a hard time for not having any children, but she truly treated us like more than her own children. I mean, she gave us anything and everything, always. Like, they're the best. And um, she said today, she was like, well, the grandbabies, of course, are my favorite now. Like, y'all are not my favorite. Talking to me and my brother, y'all are not my favorites anymore. <laughs> Which I thought was so funny because I'm like, oh, dang, thanks for letting me know where I stand, you know? I just thought it was funny. Anyway, so I saw this thing on Facebook. It immediately made me start crying because I always give my mom a hard time for letting the girls 
run all over her and doing whatever they want. She buys them all the snacks, lets them watch all the TV, like things we didn't always get as a kid. I mean, don't get me wrong, I feel like we had a lot more freedom as kids for a lot of reasons than the girls do now because there wasn't as many things to be scared of back then either. Like the world is a lot more dangerous of a place now than it was when, you know, 25 years ago when I was a child and oh my god that makes me sound so old <laughs> but it's true and so um I mean I just find it funny like my mom's constantly like I bought this for the girls I bought this for the boys I bought this for all of them when they come over they're there every other weekend spending the night she watches them all the time like without question she loves absolutely adores them so so much and so I saw this thing that said like grandparents you know it was, it was pretty much just like a whole if I read it to you guys I would bawl the entire time because when I was reading it to Andres I was crying the entire time and so anyway my lashes came off <laughs> uh yeah that's the, the glue there so I really need to wipe it off and wash my face and get ready for bed but I really wanted to get this cash stuffing up because I miss YouTube I've been vlogging and I haven't sat down and taken the time to edit things and I miss it I miss the interaction I've been a lot more active on Instagram than I ever had been before <laughs> so go follow me on Instagram it's just same thing as my channel hkd1122 but i love it i post things i've been posting little selfies here and there and videos about working out and just different things i mean i'm not super like because i vlog it makes it really hard but on a day-to-day -day basis when i'm not vlogging it's a lot easier to upload over there so go follow me if you do not already um i'm editing this and then i'm going to go wash my face and take off this i do have to work tomorrow unfortunately it is a holiday and I still have to work. There are still sick people that need to be taken care of. So everyone else is off tomorrow though, which is fun for them. So Andres will be working on the rental. And I think the girls are going to hang out with my mom for a few hours while I'm at work. And then we'll see. I need to come up with a meal plan with all the food that we have right tomorrow. We'll probably have leftovers because we have a lot of barbecue and stuff left over. Which Nin, if you're watching this, it was bomb, 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 bomb. Potato salad was my favorite. So good. Yum. And so we'll probably do that. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed following me around today and over the weekend. I've been trying really, really hard to be more active and I love it. Even the girls, like they always ask me, you want the camera? You want me to bring the camera? You want me to vlog this or whatever? Because they know it was like such a big part of our life for so, so long. And it just went out the window when everything started to, one thing after another just started to bring me out of all of my daily things that I loved. So anyway, I'm trying to get back into it. I hope you guys enjoy it. I'm gonna call it a night. We'll see you next time. Bye. Okay, it is midweek. Normally I wouldn't be vlogging, but I thought I would share with you guys these things that I got from Ribby, Riv, Ribby, River City Produce. If you're in San Antonio, it's off of South Laredo Street downtown, and they do things in bulk. They have, don't mind me, I'm like still in scrubs from work. They have all kinds of stuff, fresh produce, um, so to include fruits, vegetables, uh, they have sometimes prepackaged things, all, all kinds of stuff. So right now, I got a case of a lot of avocados for 10 bucks. <laughs> so what I told Andres is we cut them in half, we added some lemon to them, mashed them all up, and we are freezing them. So I have quart-sized freezer bags, and I am, I'm putting one in the fridge so that we can use for like avocado toast and things in the morning. I have some avocado, $10 for literally, I'd have to look at the paper. Let me actually show you. Ah, oh, here it is. Let me show you. I have got eight clamshells of blueberries for $7 and 50 cents. Does this show it? Yeah, it does. Let me show you. So this is the address, River City Produce, um, South Laredo. That's the phone number. They're open Monday through Friday, 7 to 3. That's the only bad thing, so you can't go after work. I went on my lunch break. But Haas avocados, 36 of them. So 36 in size. So 36 avocados for $10. Over the weekend at Costco, I got a six pack of avocados for like $5. So for 10 bucks, double my price, I got 36 of them. And that's what that ended up turning into there. Hello. <laughs> uh, blueberries, eight of the 18 ounce shells for $7.50. I paid $5 for one 18 ounce shell at 
Costco. Yeah. Mangoes, three cases, so it was three of these boxes. I had one at work today, the girls have already dug into them, but it came with two, four, six, eight. Eight avocados, no, eight mangoes, two, four, six, seven. Seven to eight mangoes per case. So it was three cases for $12. Again, super cheap. And then the salads, which is what I originally went there for, Caesar to go salads, 18 of them for $10. And then four for 20 is like a variety pack of chicken, uh, club, turkey, different things for 20. That was 24 of them for 20. Let me show you all the ones that I got. The blueberries, I got two large gallon freezer bags. I put two in my fridge. I washed them for the girls to eat there. Two of the clamshells there because we go through blueberry, blueberries like crazy and then one bag here to freeze and I have another frozen blueberry bag out in my other freezer. So this is the drink fridge, right? <laughs> All right, I almost choked on my own saliva. These are the little salads. I mean, these are from, I'm assuming Walmart or H-E-B. They're cute. I had a Caesar one for dinner tonight and it was pretty filling. It comes with the um, uh, a little fork, the lettuce, the fixings, the salad dressing. Super convenient for lunch. I had this one. I had the chicken Caesar. So this was 18 of them for $10. And then these ones were a little bit more expensive. But I have salads galore back there and down here. So like Emmy had one for dinner. They can take them for lunch if they want. I can take them for lunch. Andres can take them. So super good deal. I was very excited.